What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We out here with another beatbox reaction. This time we checking out uh, the beatbox showcase uh, battle uh, by Shogo. Now I haven't seen Shogo perform before, or at least I didn't. I, I don't think I've seen him perform knowingly. Anyways, this is something that I saw down in the comments. I'm always browsing through the comments. I don't always choose which one has the most voted, right? I kind of just go in and kind of just blindly choose because um, um, I like to be as diverse as possible when we're looking at this. And I'm trying to see how many of these artists that I can get through. Uh, uh, so when I do see like one of those awesome battles, like uh, what was that other one? That fan that fantasy battle where was it the All-Stars one? I can't remember the title of it, where they had like like five people on stage. I want to be able to watch one of those and know every single person on stage. So let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. You got four minutes on Shogo. I say the San, you say the Ni and the Ichi. Speak that Son. German. Maybe you're lying. That's how we start. I feel like dying. Maybe you're lying. Pain. Yeah, it's baby. here at all times. Babe, you look so fine. I feel like dying. Okay, so he looks like he's about to transition to another performance. I just gotta say a couple of things, man. His ability to add that bass to that, you know, and at the same time hold hold the note and stay it in tune, man, is just absolutely amazing. Now that part when he was like, nah, nah. I've seen that performed by other beatboxers, but sometimes they 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 use a throat to manipulate it, right? To kind of kind of uh uh constrict and uh open the throat so they can go ahead and make that sound and everything. Um, whether whether they whether no matter what type of bass they're doing or if they're trying to do those notes, every time I see some of these people do these sounds, they kind of hit their throat to get it. He just hit it so effortlessly, easily, right? And you can see the 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 crowd reaction. Right, because that was amazing. He kind of just blew it out of nowhere. Then he just kind of hit us with the bass all over. And look at this, look at his composure, dude. You know, sometimes you see these people just flipping out, going everywhere, all over the stage, just be like, yeah, you know, this dude's just walking this way, walking that way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we still got two more minutes. He's probably gonna drop us with something like super heavy. But so far, I like his style. Hey. So chill, babe. What's he saying? I feel like dying. Bass. I feel like dying. That gotta be hard. I feel like. I feel like shoot up the crowd. Babe. 
<laughs> okay, we got another transition. Uh, the his his beat his his style is almost kind of giving me a sense of a uh, uh, low fidelity like uh, low fidelity hip hop like lofi right because he has delayed beats especially when he did that breakdown you kind of hear that 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 long pause that you know and at the same time you know he killing it with these with these vocals and everything it's 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 pretty awesome because whenever you start messing with delayed and you start you start adding swing to like your bass and you know your snare and everything sometimes it can be hard to kind of stay on tempo because if you do it if you if you provide like a swing or you provide like some type of delay then you got to do it for the most part throughout that whole entire segment that you're doing but if you do it too fast or if you do it too slow it sounds a little bit off and it sounds a little bit sped up now um, i would like to think that that's something that the judges all, all always judge on right your ability to keep the tempo you start with something right usually you want to run with it for maybe let's see maybe about maybe maybe eight to 16 measures maybe right it's kind of like a standard and then you'll move on to something and usually it's usually a transition before uh, before you move on to something quicker or something can happen in it but i think it, it lasts for at least eight maybe 16 measures uh but within the first one two three four five five six seven eight within the first two measures right i imagine you need to keep at least the same tempo before you're switching up because you want your uh your listeners to be able to follow right because this is also this is a stage performance you got to take that into uh consideration as well so um i just thought it was pretty amazing because i think he did a pretty good job with those delayed beats <laughs> You love to see it. Show go from your pen. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. All right. Let me see. Um, I wonder if he passed. Uh, I feel like I'm dying. Yeah, right. That drop was pretty. That's pretty nasty. I just want to know if he made it past. <laughs> this guy was a funny. He's a napalm. How he do that? <laughs> hey, that was pretty good, man. See, oh, oh, no. Look at this. This guy Shogo versus uh, a Batako. We gotta check that out. That might be the next. That might be the next. I need to see him uh, in his battles against other people so I can see how strong his rebuttals are. Cause he looks like he got a whole lot in his arsenal. Uh, we definitely go check out some more Shogo. This was an excellent suggestion. Really, really glad we watched it super amazing just simply amazing <laughs> all right y'all that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out